Huntington resident John Kilgore proves that it's never too late and that you can never be too busy to give up on your lifelong creative dreams. By using modern technology, Kilgore is about to release his very first music album, Destroy All Planets, on iTunes. I didn't pick up a guitar until about 15 years ago. It was something that I decided I wanted to do. I was around 30 years old. I always wanted to learn how to play the guitar, so my wife bought me one and uh, I just taught myself how to play. But I always had this album in my head that I wanted to put together and it's finally coming together. I came up with the idea for the album, uh, it actually just started as one song called Gravity, which I wrote before the John Mayer song. Uh, I wrote that in 2008 and it was a song about kind of growing up and, and getting your feet planted on the ground and, and looking at your life and realizing that you have a lot of obligations that you need to do and, and a lot of things that can weigh on you, but, they, but you have to keep yourself planted on the ground in order to, um, to take care of your daily life. And it just started out as a song, as that one song, and then it, 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 I came up with a theme for, for different songs to attach to that, and it, and it started to spread and become a, a full album, a, a kind of a conceptual album. It's a creative outlet, it's fun, it's relaxing to make this, but it's also stressful because you want it to be, you want it to be perfect and you want it to be good and you want people to like it. And uh, it's, a, it's a stressful thing to, to, to put yourself out there like that. What makes this album so unique is that Kilgore produced it entirely himself in his spare time using music editing software. About 15 years ago I was with a, with a group of guys and we would jam. Uh, we'd go to Hicksville and we would jam in a studio and I would play bass and we would sing and, and, and play and we would get together all the time. This was back when we were in our early 30s. We've all grown and we've all kind of spread apart and we have children and it's hard for, for the guys to all to get together and play. So I decided I'm going to put this, these songs together myself. and. I played the I played the, uh, the acoustic guitar, the electric guitar, the bass, the piano. Uh, I programmed the drums. I don't have a real drum set here yet, and I just started to piece all these together bit by bit, song by song, weekend by weekend, you know, evening by evening, just putting them together. Technology's gotten to a point where we are able to do this in our home. Um, Years ago, it would cost $10,000, you know, to put a system like this together. Now for, you know, $500 and a nice guitar, you can, you can start, you know, plugging into your computer and recording your own stuff. And it sounds great. With the right attitude and with the right, um, you know, perfectionism, you can get it to sound just like a studio album. And Kilgore explains the album's unusual title, Destroy All Planets, and says it contains original music he wrote himself about life experiences. It's really hard to come up with a band name, you know? I was think I've been thinking about it for 20 years. If I ever had a band, what would be a good name? Destroy All Planets comes from, um, it's basically a throwback to like a 1950s monster movie. There's one called Destroy All Monsters. I was talking one day to somebody about you know, and I don't want to get all political here, but we were talking about our planet and how we're destroying our planet. And I was like, well, let's destroy all planets, you know, might as well. So that's where it came from, and it's kind of tongue-in-cheek, um, destroy all planets. The album spans from, a, about a, for, from a story's perspective, it goes from about when I was graduating high school in 88 up until present day. And I try to set the scene in, in the first, in, in the first, uh, couple tracks with some beach sounds and, and it flashes back to my childhood in, in Cape Cod 1988 and thinking about uh, hopefully someday there'll be a woman out there for me that I can meet and I can spend the rest of my life with. One of my favorite tunes on there is called Clarity and it's a song about growing up. It's a song about fatherhood and fatherhood's not easy. It's one of my favorites because, not only because of the lyrics I put in it, but um, the guitar solo I did at the end. I really enjoyed it. And it just kind of came to me at about 2 o'clock in the morning one day. The last song on the album 
is a song that I wrote last, and it's uh, called Walk With Me. And uh, it's a song about, uh, about my wife, and it's a song about meeting her and asking her to walk with me into the future. So this album's done, and it's going out to iTunes soon, and I already have an idea for tons of songs coming up, and I'm going to continue down this road, and I'm going to make another one. Kilgore is also a professional video and sound editor. He's worked on some award-winning independent films produced on Long Island. I've been working with Dan Brennan for a long time, you know, as, as an editor for him for a lot of his a lot of his clients and he approached me a few years ago with the video guys he needed an audio mixer to to, uh, to help Thanks, finesse it and, and to sweeten it to make it sound really good for the video guys I love the project I took it on and, and it was one of the most fulfilling projects I've had in a long time because it was uh, it was I had to put in all the sound effects and sweeten it and get the music just right and in the end, it was a big success. He was very happy with the way that, that, that it came out. And uh, I actually did it on this hey, system here. Where are you? And, uh, and that was a fun feature film to work on. There's a scene in Video Guys where Rick goes to the school. And uh, for some reason, the audio was, it was off. It, was, it, it, it didn't record well on his microphone. So we had to have Ross Camarda go into the studio and uh, do ADR or looping, which is a, you know additional dialogue recording. And he had to say his lines, and I had to match it up to this locker scene. The actual lines that are in the final film are uh, what he did in the studio afterwards, and I had to match it up to what he said. And it, you know, I EQ'd it and blended it, and no, I don't think anyone can tell unless you watch it over and over again. Oh, look at this. Is that yours? No. No, no, I didn't think so. Let me ask you, is your life worth $2,500? Did you pay $2,500 for that thing? No. Hold this. Come here. Come here. Give me that. Back to class. All right, let's go. I also worked on a film called Purgatory Comics with a, a friend of mine and a yeah, client, no, 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 um, Ralph Suarez. He brought it to me to Man, mix mix it now. and sweeten it and add sound effects and you know and, and that's basically my day job and, and it, it ties into my music my music playing because it, it, it just blends together and uh, Purgatory Comics again uh, very happy with 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 the mix that we made and they were having a conversation uh, by a dumpster and there was a truck in the background that was beeping. That took most of my day to get that scene mixed right for some reason, that the beeping sound was conflicting with the dialogue. Is that good? <laughs> no way, man. They will see, it never means yes. Will see means don't hold your breath. And obsessing over it all day is not gonna help. You know what uh, would have been a better answer? The opposite of that. And Kilgore shares this advice for others looking to create and edit their own music this way. There's nothing holding you back anymore to create this stuff. You have an iPad or you have a Mac, you can get a garage band or something like that and you can just you can plug your guitar in or uh, get your own little keyboard and for under uh, you know for under five hundred dollars you can you can start creating your own music and, and start um, expressing yourself through your music. If you have an inkling that you want to, to do this, just go and do it. Dive in and do it because it is so much fun. With the products that are available out there now, you know, they're relatively cheap, but they sound pro really professional. Destroy All Planets will be available on iTunes soon. Chris Kalora reporting, Long Island Online News.